hello friends and welcome back so today I'm going to show you how we can create a pillar like this uh, as you can see on the screen so without any further delay let's get started uh, so here we are in 3d studio max now to create a pillar we need to create few shapes so let's activate this uh, let's maximize the front viewport and in this I'm going to create a uh, few shapes first as we'll create a line and uh, just click to start the line and hold the shift key so that we can create a straight line like this now along the line we need to add a few more shapes so for that first we need one circle uh, like this then uh, we need one more circle slightly smaller than the first one and then we need one star so star should be smaller than the second circle and we will make some modification in the star so let's zoom in first and in this we have to uh, decrease the radius let's make it slightly smaller than the second circle and then we have this uh, the fillet radius one we have to we have to increase the fillet radius one then increase the fillet radius two and then in the points we have to type uh, like 12 so that we get something like this we can adjust the radius because we need a shape something like this now after doing this we have to uh, select this line so this line is going to be the path and these are the uh, circle and the star which we have created these are the shapes so select the line that is the path and then in the command panel we will uh, go to the coupon objects in the coupon object we have a tool that is loft so simply click on loft and afterwards you have to uh, in the creation method we have got an option that is get shape just click on the get shape and hit the biggest circle so once we click on the circle uh, the line turns into a cylinder and if i zoom a little bit you will notice that the the shape is now connected to the line at the base now next we have to change the path value so in the loft parameters we have uh, a group that is path parameters in the path parameters we have the path value currently it is zero so just change the value to five enter then click on get shape and hit the large circle again then again go to path and this time type change the value to six then again click on get shape and hit the second circle that is slightly smaller than the first one like this then change the path value to 7 and again get shape and hit the same circle again then change the value to 8 and click on get shape and hit the star so now the profile will change now in the path you have to change the value from 8 to directly type in 90 when you type 90 then click on get shape and hit the star again and then change the value to 91 get shape again the medium circle and here we can stop and we can see that we have created a pillar uh, in 3ds max using the loft so let's check this in the perspective report and once I get into the perspective report you'll find that we have this pillar which is ready now beside this what else we can do is we have these shapes so we can anytime select the shape and uh, make changes accordingly it will be reflected in the 3d so we have to select the shape make the changes we want and accordingly things are updated now beside this when we select the loft object so in the stack 
uh, we have the shape and the path so just click on shape and in this we will be able to see the shape which you have added so select the shape and you can move the shape up and down like this and accordingly change the pillar so that is the easy way of creating pillars in uh, 3d studio max so hope you liked it thank you so much for watching